<laughs> Time for this week's pit ass brought to you by Honda. And Lee Henry sat down with Steve Lando and learned more of the great rating tires. Competition not only takes place between rivals and teams in the FES Championship Series, but also tire manufacturers. Both Goodyear and Firestone go head to head every weekend to try and make it to Victory Lane. Goodyear's preparation begins before the champ cars even reach the track. Goodyear uses tire testing to help develop the proper recommendation for the race. With the new rules this year in cart with only one primary tire you're allowed to bring to the racetrack, you have to be exact in your recommendation for each race. So what we do is prior to the race, we have what we call a tire test. We bring different compounds, different designs. We have teams come in, we bring the tire, we try to beat what we call a control tire or a race tire that we've raced at previous races. To you and me, one tire looks just like another. Nothing could be farther from truth, especially in the material it's made of. There's a lot of different things that go into the formulation of the rubber that goes on the surface of the tire. And that surface is very important because that is the, the contact area for the race car. It's a very small contact area, and that's where all the energy and all the forces are put into that contact area. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to give the driver as much grip as possible through that tread compound, but also consistency and wear so they continue to run many laps. The tires also vary depending on whether they're being used on a road course, street, oval, or super speedway. There's a drastic change, or a significant change, I'd say, from the uh, oval tire to the road course tire. Uh, you're using a little bit softer compound and a little bit softer uh, design, or a more pliable, more flexible design. On the ovals, uh, the short ovals and the super speedways are very similar. The only thing that you'll see differently is because you're going at much higher rate of speed on the super speedway, you'll probably use a little bit more heat resistant compound on the super speedways than you would on the short ovals. But the short oval, on the other hand, because the tire is always loaded, will generate a lot higher wear than you'll see on the super speedway. So wear resistance becomes an issue on the short ovals. Enough challenge tire manufacturers face construction of main tires for street and road course events. The big problem there, being able to test in wet conditions. At times, Mother Nature hits an assist. Last fall at Portland, we had water trucks available at the circuit. We had some rain in the morning and we wanted to maintain the wet condition as uh, consistent as we could. So what we did is we brought in water trucks and we wet down the track as the track was drying so that we can maintain that consistency in our test uh, environment. In Dave Orlando and Goodyear's case, all the testing and hard work pay off at the beginning of the season, as Michael Andretti claimed victory at Homestead. I was so excited because of the the work that our engineers, our tech senior manufacturing, and our research group have put together, put forth at the winter time. We had a very intense test schedule this year. We took the Homestead a lot. There was a lot of uh, anticipation for that risk of doing very well. And when you really achieve that goal, the thrill of victory, the emotion that you feel, you just uh, let your feeling go. And I'm that type of a person. I mean, I'm very intense, and the guys we work with are very intense on improving that uh, Goodyear is uh, an excellent tire, and an excellent race tire. And uh, we didn't do quite as well as we should have last year, and we're back this year to prove a point. And uh, to get off to a very good start like that was very exciting and very emotional for us.